I just wanted to show you this. This is a type of fungus and this is really bad. It starts out with like little spots like that that gets on your tomatoes. And I found some of this in my tomatoes back here. So I did some research online and I called a nursery um, that I do business with in Reno. And they suggested that I cut all of the leaves and stems that I find this fungus on, any leaves that are affected, and to cut my tomatoes. If you hear that noise in the background, I got a fan going in here, it's hot. Um, but cut my tomatoes back, go out, out to where they're not touching the ground. So I cut them all back away from the dirt, that's what they recommended. Not, And they said um, that we shouldn't leave tomato leaves touching the dirt. That we should trim them early on. And it helps prevent some of that blight because some of the, even though you buy potting soil, you can still run a chance of getting bacteria in the soil. And to make sure to clean your pots really well. So I have trimmed back all my tomatoes. I spent like two hours this morning just going through my tomatoes and checking to see if there are any uh, blighted leaves or anything like that. Um, the tomatoes are not looking real happy, so I'm going to make them some food. Some chicken poop soup. <laughs> And I'll show you how I do that um, in my next video. And in the green tubs, I have planted carrots. And I have empty spots here, so I put the tubs back here. Because my daughter and my son-in-law took two of my pots of tomatoes. And that was fine with me because they're trying to... Uh, create a garden and do some prepping at their house which thrills me to death so I am very happy to share and these guys right here I trimmed them off to almost nothing but they were really infected with the leaf fungus so that's why they look so puny um, that one back there in the corner looked a little puny from the beginning but now it's really starting to green up and look good so I'm happy with that and it's getting little tomatoes and these guys I think they're just hungry I need to feed them so I'm going to make some chicken poop soup chicken manure is probably one of the best things you can put in a vegetable garden and being that I have chickens I save their waste and I make chicken poop soup to feed my potted plants. Hopefully the carrots will come up. I really hope so. Well, we'll see. I have harvested the basil that I have up there from the table in my table herb garden. Uh, the basil would be to your far left in the black pots. I have six basil plants and it seems like I'm constantly having to harvest them because they get huge very quickly. Um, this is Sweet Genovese Italian Basil and here's the pile that I have right now that I just trimmed off of those plants today because the leaves were getting huge <laughs> as you can see. So let's weigh it and see how much we have. Bowl on first and Yes, I know it looks funny, but I'm still using this little tiny scale. Uh, but soon I will have another kitchen scale. So we're going to clear it out and make it all zeros, if you can see that. There you go. And I am going to go ahead and put my leaves in. It's uh, Genevieve's basil. 
I love basil. And this was all from my little table garden over there that I keep in the house. Um, I have lemon balm. If it'll focus. There's, I've got two aloe vera plants that are, those are my medicinal plants. And I've got one, two, three lemon balms that get huge. I just harvested them. And parsley right next to it in the middle. This plant right here, my son got for my birthday. It's not a medicinal plant or an herbal plant. Um, it's just a ornamental succulent plant, but I can't put it outside quite yet. I need to get a nice pot to put it on the patio. And over there is my basil. And that's what we're doing right here. So let's weigh this. There's every ounce counts, right? So let's weigh this, see how much it says. It says it is 1.79 ounces of basil. You can barely see it, but 1.79. So I'm going to enter that into my book. And this is my basil. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to leave mine because I wrote there. Let's try this again. Basil. 1.79 ounces. Okay. I know that's a really tiny harvest compared to what a lot of people do, but I just have a little tiny garden. So, you know what? Doing the best I can, and I'm gonna go ahead and document everything because I wanna be in the shed wars, and I want Team Woodcutter to win all those seeds so I can have some for next year. <laughs> Actually, I'm just enjoying the competition. So, this is my basil, and I got 1.7 ounces off of my little table garden over there. So we'll see you guys in a little while.